Okay guys, I'm about to do the rear brakes. I'm gonna replace the rotors, brake pads, brake hoses, and then on this side, I have to do the caliper because it's bad. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, but uh, I'm gonna jack it up here and got all the parts there. Not all, but there's rotors right there too. This is how bad the rear brakes are. Well, I'm not really talking much about the rust, but the ridge on the rotor. And then pads are gone on this side, but I think this caliper is just bad. I'll have to see. But yeah, I just wanna change the hoses too at the same time. I'm also gonna change this fuel tank vent valve right there while I'm at it. Okay, so we got new vent valve. Gonna install that. Guys, it's scary, but I'm opening the sunroof for the first time. Yeah, baby. The switch is a little sticky. Okay, now it's gonna be a perfect time for me to lubricate everything here. Obviously, the wind deflector is, you know, a little tired but i also want to check the drains i'm gonna pour water in these drains make sure it's good that's perfect okay guys so i lubed up the tracks here I put the bearing grease there you know obviously the best thing is to take everything out and all that but uh, at least some grease is good and now i'm gonna use some water and i'm gonna pour water in here to make sure it's draining down make sure it's not clogged it's really important so we're gonna go ahead and do that now actually let's see i want to make sure this baby's draining is it oh yeah she's draining right there awesome that makes me happy we'll check the other side here okay uh hooked up the jumper and just so you guys know i mean i'm not trying to buy a brand new battery right now because the car is probably gonna you know sit a little bit afterwards uh you know it's gonna get driven you know around the block here and there but you know i'm not trying to you know get a new battery right now these new batteries nowadays they don't last this long at all so it's just gonna be a waste okay everything is ready to go i'm gonna close this sunroof back Let's see, come on, baby. Okay. Yeah, baby, come on. I'm gonna help it a little in the battery. Let's see. Da -da -da. There she is. You can do it, baby. Yeah, I think the switch is just sticky. Yep, so I just gotta kinda click it. Come on. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> I gotta help it a little bit here. Okay guys, just with a little bit of help and switch uh, action, you know, close the sunroof all the way. So, well, guys, didn't finish the brakes yesterday, so today I want to finish everything up. Ooh. Parking brakes, a little bit of cracking there, as you can see. That's okay. A little bit. That's fine. She's gonna have to get done at some point, probably in the future. But she's good for now. She's uh, the parking brakes are working. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and clean all this and put grease here before I install your rotor. Make it nice. Usually I like to repaint these while I do all this work. So, but this will mainly break dust right here. So I might just leave it as is for now. And then next time, whether myself or someone else, or cause I don't have plans for this car just yet. So we'll see when these parking brakes get done at some point. Like I said, this is, this is nothing crazy. I think this happened because like they were driving maybe with the parking brakes on or something. Because they still have material left, honestly. I'm gonna put a little right here too on this surface. So this rust doesn't attack this hub. Kinda like that, all over the place. So if you remember, I was saying that this car needs a caliper in the right rear. Actually, I was wrong. I was able to compress that piston, but I think the problem, what it was, why these brake pads were so worn comparing to the other side is because the pins were like really rusted. Uh, the pins like in the pads couldn't really move easily like back and forth So right now I'm just you know, I have a new brake rotor on it And then I'm just cleaning everything like all the area all the pins and all that stuff And I'm gonna lube everything up nicely install new pads new brake hose and should be good to go Yeah, and then I'll just have to bleed this side, but <clears throat> yeah, this uh, These pins they were kind of stuck and as you can see they're pretty rusty so that's why, oops, that's why the pads just couldn't move back and forth and yeah, that's okay, we'll, we'll do it all right. There's another pin, pretty chewed up. There's the pads, oh, Mercedes-Benz actually, wow. But as you can see, totally gone, totally gone. It's like about to be metal on metal. Yeah, and yeah, I was able to compress all the pistons. Now I just have to clean everything nicely and we will be good to go. Install new pads, great. That's a big difference, isn't it? <laughs> Crazy. All right, I'm gonna get ready and everything looped up here. Start installing all this. Okay, brake pads, everything is installed, all good. And then I'm changing this hose now. And then that's how I replace the hoses. And then after that, I'll install basically reverse of removal. After changing the hose, Right there, we're bleeding this side right now with vacuum pump. Okay guys, so working on this side right now, as you can see, the brakes are still fine, like the brake pads. Rotor is destroyed. So we're changing all that and the brake hose at the same time too. Okay, so this side, these look pretty good actually. No cracks. Yeah, I'm gonna clean the hub, install a new rotor, and everything back together. The pads on this side were actually pretty good, like that. Strange, huh? Okay, guys, it's all greased up, ready to put the rotor back on. There we go. Press all the way, hold. Pump it. It's ready for you, yeah.
Ooh, she's a little. This right now. Oh my God! Why? Now, Mr. Yay, she's running. It's alive. Let her run. So quiet. Amazing machine. Oh, yeah. She's alive. The baby wagon. The baby wagon. How are the brakes? Did you replace the fronts too? No, just the rears. Okay, I need the fronts too. Why? I'm hearing something. Oh, so the rotors are painted, so it's gonna be a little bit for them to clear up. That's why. Probably that's what you're hearing. <laughs> Yeah, I tried replacing the OVP, but it's probably the ABS sensor is dirty or something. I'm not worried about that though. Go take it around the block. Man, look at this bumper. Holy crap. Holy crap. That is crazy, man. Look at this. Do the fog lamps. Yeah. Crazy. All right, take her around on the block. You look good in it, Kuya Rafael. <laughs> Parking brake? Nope. Very nice.